Okay, so got a new phone, so I'm hoping that this works out okay. This is going to be a tutorial that's inspired by Faithful Designs by Christy. Um, it's a stand-up loaded envelope. I'm only going to be doing the shell. Um, what you'll need is about four to five pieces of sturdy cardstock. I've used 110 pound. I've also used the 65 pound and it's worked as well. Um, so it's all on what you have on hand. Don't go crazy buying anything. Um, you need about four or five pieces. Um, and let me get my board. You're going to cut one piece at eight and a half, which I'm using eight and a half by 11 paper, so the eight and a half is already there. Eight and a half by four and a half. You're going to cut one at eight and a half by six. You're going to cut another one that is eight and a half by seven and a half. You're going to cut another one that is eight and a half by nine. And with these extra pieces you have over here, you're going to cut one at two inches by five and a half inches. Two by five and a half. And then you're going to cut another one that is five and a half by eight. So that's eight by five and a half. Now, the two by five and a half and the five and a half by eight, you're going to put to the side. Your other pieces, you're going to now take out your scoreboard. And don't mind my scoreboard. I have yet to figure out how to clean it. I have all pieces of like um, cardstock in it and just like dust and glitter. And I have no idea how to clean it out. So. If you know how I can clean out these little ridges in here, please let me know because this drives me crazy. Alright. So, with your scoreboard, you're going to take your piece that is 8.5 by 4.5. And, and on the 8.5 side, you are going to score at a half an inch. one inch and one and a half then you're gonna fully flip it to the other side and you're gonna do half inch one inch and one and a half inch then you're gonna flip it on the other side and you're gonna score it at half an inch and one inch and you're going to do this for all your pieces. The other one, you're going to take it by the eight and a half inch side. And again, you're going to score it at half an inch. Oops. One inch. And one and a half. Fully flip it. And you're going to do again half an inch. One inch. And one and a half. Then you're going to flip it this way, and you're going to do a half an inch and one inch. You're going to take your next piece, which is the eight and a half by six. And again, on the eight and a half inch side, you're going to do a half an inch, one inch, and one and a half. Fully flip it around, and you're going to do Ah, it slipped. A half inch, one inch, and one and a half. And on your bottom, on the other side, the a seven and a half side, you're going to do a half inch and one inch. And on your last piece, which is the eight and a half by nine, on the eight and a half inch side, you're going to do again half inch one inch and one and a half. Then you're going to flip it around 
and you're gonna again do a half inch, a one inch, and a one and a half. And then on your nine inch side, you're gonna do a half an inch and a one inch. Now you got all your scoring done, and you can put the scoreboard away. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors. And what you're going to do on all your pieces, you're going to cut out these six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if you can see those squares. But you're going to cut those out on all your pieces. Just cut out those squares. All right. I love doing these stand-up envelopes. I think they're so cute because if you take all the goodies out of it, you can still use this envelope on your desk to hold pens and sticky notes and whatever you want. But it's cute because they last and you can use it for all different things just to have something pretty on your desk. I use just an old kitchen table. That's what I use as my desk because it's going to get cut up and tape all over it and glue all over it so I didn't want a fancy desk. Not only did I not want it, can't afford it. Okay, now I'm just like I said cutting out these bottom six squares because you do not need them. I'm sorry if you hear any of the background noise. I don't know how to edit videos yet. If anybody knows how and cares to show me how or teach me how, I'd love to learn. So I pretty much just, I call it raw recording. I record and I post. It is what it is. I am who I am. Alright, so now we got all six squares out of all our pieces that we cut. So now they look like this. And if you put them on top of each other like this, you'll kind of see how it's the layers. Now, what you want to do is you want a mountain valley fold. You know what that is. You're going to fold this one in this way. And then the next one you're going to fold towards you. And then the next one you're going to fold down. And then you just want to give it a good, what do they call it, varnish, I guess. Just a good rub. I'm going to do it to the other side, fold towards you, fold back, Varnish. and then these bottom two, you can fold those down, fold this one down, and you do that to all your pieces. So let's get that. Um, I was using double-sided tape. Unfortunately, I ran out. So I'm going to be using my wet glue. You can use wet glue, you can use glue gun, whatever you have on hand. I use whatever I have on hand. Alright, so we are just folding on all of our score lines. The sides, like I said, are mountain valley folds. This way, then back this way, then back this way, and then the bottom two. So you get that. This way, this one I kind of cut a little off, so I'm just going to snip a little bit. There we go. Um, like I said, this um, cardstock that I'm using right now is 110 pound cardstock, um, the Recollections uh, brand. Um, I've made a few using 65 pound and it actually works really well because then you're going to mat with your paper. I use digital paper. I print on HP presentation paper which works really well. Okay, so this is your back piece right here. What you need to do on all your pieces, um, let's see. I think I'm going to use some tacky glue because it tends to adhere quicker. My tacky glue is a hot mess because I was using it last night. So you're going to take a little bit of the whatever adhesive you're using and just put right here on the very end. And on the other end, 
around. And what that's gonna do is you're gonna take your bottom piece and you're gonna adhere it. I don't know if you can see that. You're going to adhere. So it makes it like that. All right. Probably should have turned on my hot glue just for the sake of the tutorial because sometimes this glue takes a little while. So you kind of just hold it there until you get these pieces together. Okay, that's good enough for me. Then with that piece that you cut at five and a half by eight that you put to the side, this is going to be your back piece. This is the piece that's gonna go here and that's going to close this. So what you want to do is, I'm gonna plug in my glue gun is you're going to want to put this on the back to close it up and this right here will be your back piece and then again on your all your pieces you're going to want to put a little bit of adhesive here and here and fold this over like that and then you adhere it to the next one and then the same to the next piece and then you're going to adhere it to this one and then you're going to do another piece and you're going to adhere it to this one so you have a stand up loaded and loaded. Now I can show you a finished product. Which is right here. You have one, two, three, and four. You have your Mountain Valley folds here. Your back piece. And then with that last two and a two by five and a half piece. You put it right at the bottom so you don't see all the slits and it's covered. And then you have a stand up loaded envelope. And like I said, you can always, when you empty out your goodies, you can put pencils and your scissors and your bone folders and whatever you want inside and it holds it perfectly. If you have any questions or you want me to do a slower version of it, I kind of did this one really quick for one of my Instagram friends. Um, she wanted to see how it was done so she could create one as well. So I just did this kind of quick. If you want me to do one slower, just let me know and I can definitely slow it up. Thank you.